Welcome back. Now in this video, we will simply create our text form field for a name, email, password, and also for the phone number. And the last one will be for the address. So let's go and do that and create a text form field. So if we go back to the login screen, simply come here and run mandar dot. Now in here. As you guys can see that text form field, we have already implemented the code for that. So we will simply copy that code and we will iterate it just for the time saving. So we're gonna do that. Now let's go back to the sign up and let me open right in here this login screen dot dot. There we go. Now in here, let me show you. We are on the login. And from here we will simply copy the text form field as you guys can see right in here so simply from here to here copy that whole code from here go down and to here that text form field above this size box simply copy it now let's go back to the sign up screen dot dot right in here as you guys can see let me show you that so that you guys just don't get confused now you're on the sign up so in here form widget and right inside that below this gesture detector right in here you will pass it there we go that's a gesture detector and there we'll go with the text form field right in the sign up screen now simply right in here we will edit it a little bit and almost all of the thing will be similar in this code that we just paste it right in here so as I tell you before the first text form field it is going to be for the name so in here we're going to change that keyword type text input type gonna be the name simply remove that from here and write name in here there we go now we will simply go and create the text controller for the name we will remove that it was for email before so you will remove that and now let's go and create it for the name right at top so below this animation controller right in here we will say final and tax editing control there we go now we will say full name controller let's find right in here now simply we will say tax editing controller and it's gonna take tax the empty string and right at N, let me show you, put a semicolon right in here. So now let's go and use that full name controller right down in here in this controller for the name. So that's fine. Now the next thing that we will do, as you guys know, this text form field we are implementing this for the now so right in the on editing complete we're gonna change the focus to the next text form field as I tell you before that one is for NAM so the next text form field that we're gonna make for email so right in here the focus node will be simply for the email focus node so we will go right at the top and implement that and then we will use it right in here then it will simply whenever it will complete it the name controller it will change the focus automatically to the email focus node so for that we will remove that in here and we will go right at the top and let's create the focus node for the email so let me move this to live side and right down in here we will say focus node 
and then we're gonna name this as an email focus none assign it to the focus not to it that's fine as I told you before, the focus node it's basically an uh, object that can be used by the stateful widget just to obtain the keyboard focus and to handle the keyboard events. So it's gonna change the focus to next text form field. Now let's go and use that. Right in here on editing complete in the request focus, you will use it email focus node and you guys can see in here the text form field it's going to be for the name because we didn't edit right in here in the decoration you will change it to the name because we copied that code from the login and it was for the email that's why right in here it's email so now if we press the control S, you guys will see the name in there there we go with the name now so now as I told you before the next text form field will be for the email so that's why in here in the request focus on the editing complete we have that email focus node so it will simply change the focus to the next text form field and it's gonna be email right down below this name so now we will make a little change right in here so whenever the user will enter the name it's going to be right inside that value and now we're gonna change that right in here we don't need this we will simply dial that now we are left with the value and check is empty so we're gonna say if the user entered the name right in here and it's gonna then assign that name to this value now in this value we will have the username right inside that and then we will check if the value is empty then right in here we will return a tax if it's empty then we will say this field is missing Or else if the value will not be empty then we will return now and right in here we just did some styling for that now and you guys can see the result right in here with the creation and everything so that's all for the name text form field and you guys can notice that right in here now in here click and you can simply enter your name or anything in there like that so let's remove that and now simply we will go towards the email right after that we will simply go and create that and we can also edit the hint text to full name and also the user can simply enter their company name so in here we will show that hint text so it's gonna look more good let's press the controllers and there we go with the full name or company name so the user can choose between them and enter their name now right in here between this circular border radius and the camera icon right in here we will create some height so that the full name and company name will go a little down so it will look good so for that simply in here we will add the size box so in here size box and we can give the height to 20 now we will add the const modifier to this size box and now let's press the control s and see there we go now it's a little bit down so we will copy that again and now in here below this text form field that one paste it now we're gonna simply create it for email as I tell you before so for the time saving we're gonna 
copy that text form field that we just created for the name and we will edit it for the email so right in here copy that from here simply to here copy it and below this size box right in here paste it so this is going to be for the email as I told you so the hint tag is going to be email now just press the control s and you guys will notice there we go with the email text form field now we will edit this a little bit in here remove that name and it's going to be email address there we go now we will simply go and create a controller for that email we will remove that full name controller and go right at top in here below this full name controller or we can simply just copy that and down right in here past it and in here we will say email text controller all fine now we can simply go and use that there we go with the text form field that we just created for the name and we copied that and right in here we paste it and we set it for the email address as you guys can see now so in here in this controller is empty now we will use the email text controller right in here there we go now right after that whenever we will complete that email one then right after we will create a text form field for a password so on the editing complete whenever it will complete it then we will simply change the focus right in here in the request focus to the password focus node so we will remove that and we will go right at top and we will create that simply copy that and paste it right in here we will edit it so remove that email from here and write pass so it's gonna be for the password focus now now let's go down and use that and in the request focus in here in the email one so that's fine and the one thing we will change right in here that condition in here we will simply say or operator I will just expand it is done only for that first let me write it not value so it's the value then content at the rate what we will do we will simply write in here return the tax that please enter a valid email address so as you guys know already whenever the user will enter the email right in here then it's gonna assign that email to this value so now right inside that value we will have the user email so right in here we will check that if that email is empty and also in here we use the or operator and then we say if that value not contain the add the rate then we will simply return that tax in which we say please enter a valid email address it simply means that and otherwise if the value will not be empty and also will contain the add the rate then we will return the now so that's the reason and I hope you can get the idea now and I have already explained this text form field code adding the login screen dot dot in detail so there is no need of that it's just a simple code so for now we have successfully implemented text form field for the full name company name 
and also for the email so there we go with the full name and community name text form field where we implement the first one right in here and also that text form field we implemented for the email as you guys can see right in here 